Okay, new video. Um, I'm gonna hinge this transom and fit this fit the transom into this frame. It's it fits right now, but it's not very elegant, so it needs some tailoring. We're gonna put these ball tip hinges I got from Killian Hardware. Really, really nice they seem. They're really, really tight. And we've gotta mount them on the frame and on the sash. And I'm gonna build a little jig to do that real quick. All right, so I got this guy. Okay, this is just a, a strip to fit in here, okay? So I got it cut really, really, really tight, okay? And I know what I know I want my hands to start at what? What did we say it was? Eight and a half? Eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half inches. I'll just write down write that down. Eight and a half. Okay, so look. Eight and a half plus three is eleven and a half. Plus an eighth, eleven and five eighths. Ah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so, um, uh, what I will do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower my blade to an inch and a sixteenth. Okay. Does that look like an inch and sixteenth deep? Oh yeah. It does. Nailed it first time. Okay, so that's my first mark. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do my outside mark. It's supposed to be eleven and five eighths to the outside. Let me check that. So I got eleven and five eighths to the inside. Okay. Make a first cut Boom. there, and then I'm gonna eyeball this one, and I'm gonna eat out the rest of it. Probably eat out. Okay, so here's what we do now. Okay, is I'm gonna pre-drill some holes, okay? You know, out of the way of where my router's gonna hit, okay? Then we're gonna do a test route to see how it actually, how the set, the hinges actually fit, and then um, dial in what we need to dial in, okay? We need if we need to extend the fence just a hair that way, then we can do that. Do these need to be three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. Right, okay, so those Three. short. Yeah, because the ah, oh, let me just show you. Because the bit has the offset on the bearing. Yeah, this is the router bit that, that we're going to use to make it. Okay, and so there's a. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so like if you've got a half inch width on your blade, a five eighth inch bearing, that means you've got a sixteenth on either side. So that means, you know, if with your template needs to be an eighth of an inch bigger, okay? Because five eighths is an eighth of an inch bigger than a half inch. So that's how that works. So pretty smart, I think. Lilith had to qualify that with, I think. This goes here. This goes there. I'm gonna test the depth. Excuse <clears throat> me. Looks like it's gonna be it. Lock it into place. Put my jig back.
just gonna see if. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, it's like so, so close. Oh, it is. That's about as perfect as it can get. Huh. All right, let's try this one. Now this one, this one needs an adjustment. Okay. So, I'm gonna adjust this side here. before we fit any finish on it so we can address these screw holes. chisel that makes no mistakes. No, that's not right. That's not this chisel. Chisel. I've got some glue on it. I can't believe somebody left some glue on this chisel. Right. So there's that. Get that little crumb out of the corner. I mean, the, the corn chisel does make quick work of this, and I've got one somewhere, but obviously it's not on the table, so. Oh, it's so nice. Man, that's beautiful, he says. And... Drilling forward rather than reverse. Usually works better that way. much I need to take off most sashes so they fit the first time this is not gonna fit very it's not gonna fit really um, no not with the curved angle uh, okay we see how that how nice that hinge goes in like that that's great okay so there Okay, all right, so let's yeah, see what I gotta do. See, that tells me. So that's gonna be my, my mark right there. I mean, if, if I cut it, I'm gonna cut it. What am I gonna cut it off? At about, I think it's three degrees or five degrees. Three? We'll start with that. So, but then, you know, and then we'll. 
will fit it like this. See? All right, so here's, yeah. Maiden voyage. Let's see how this thing works. Chain limiter. Right on our transom window. Clicks in place. 